Hey guys, it's Dreaming here, and welcome back to another anime reaction. Today, we're reacting to the second episode of Chilling Another World with my level 2 cheat skill. If you guys did not know, last week we reacted to the first episode, and in that first episode, we got introduced to our heroes and our, also our main guy. We found out the other hero is kind of a douche, or he's got an ego to him. And I will quickly say, he is busted. He literally had all the stats, level 999, which is pretty insane to think about. I was like, okay, maybe our boy's gonna get like some OP skill and stuff like that, and that's how he's gonna be broken, right? No, no, he doesn't get that. He gets all the stats set to infinity like infinite like bro's power is literally infinite but it seems like there are some restrictions to it but my question is here today what's gonna happen with our boy because we left off with him on a big cliffhanger where he's gonna fight this like uh, one of the demon generals so i'm curious to see like what's gonna exactly happen with that so i just want to get drunk right into it but if you do enjoy today's anime reaction though then you know what to do make sure to smash like button get subscribed so miss have future anime reactions and of course i will be breaking this down for youtube so if you do want the full-length reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon, get full-length anime reactions, exclusive anime reactions, and so much more. And for right now, though, let's get into it. Bro. Dude, they really went full into, like, the anime opening, focusing on her being his wife. What the hell am I watching, bro? Like, I like the anime opening because they really w focus on that. Like, she's the main waifu, but like, yeah, damn, they really had fun with that. The animators who do this just like, enjoy that. So it looks like we're resuming with the fight with our boy, though. <laughs> you know, he's about to go overkill. You just hear all the sounds of all the panels and all of his kit. I was not used to his kit. Oh, she teleported. What? Oh, that's gonna pin her down. Yeah, you ain't gonna get out of that one, Chief. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, his stats are infinite. So, Lily, he can increase the gravity magic to infinite to be like Lily Squisher as a bug, if you think about it. Like, put absolute pressure. <laughs> Bro, that's so funny. Dude, she can't do anything. All of her effects are getting negated. Damn. All she's done. Dude, she's not going to be able to do anything against him. She surrendered, though, but, like, dude, you know for a fact that, like, it's interesting. <laughs> bro it's so funny though that she literally um wow holy shit bro 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 oh my god they really focus on love she was she was uh, yo, full link for reaction. Full, like, I might have to cut some of this down for YouTube. So, if if you don't want the full reaction, Patreon, way to go. Because, holy shoot, they showed so much. Oh, she passed out because how much magic she used. So, she's just out now. It was interesting. Literally, the magic system was recommending he used uh, the uh, subjugation magic or slave magic so that way he could tame her. Or have him under his con his control, but you know the thing with it was he doesn't want to bring that shit from his world into their world, and that's why he didn't want to use it. It was so funny that he was fighting with himself because he doesn't want to have to use it in any course. He doesn't realize how broken he actually is. The system was really assisting that, and you know for a fact our boy doesn't want to do that at whatsoever. It's interesting though that like our boy is such a good guy. He only has access to infinite power, but he doesn't decide to use it. I also feel like he's kind of uh, not realizing how much power he actually has too. Bro. Bro, he doesn't want any of that shit she's just talking about. Bro, he's so selfless. <laughs> it's like a puppy that upset her. She doesn't know what to do in the situation. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Dude. Bro. It looks like he's got a new companion now, which is interesting. It looks like he's telling his backstory to her. Yeah, bro, just tell him the whole story, bro. He, he does not care, dude. She does not care. Bro, he does not like the term master at all. I think we all would know this is going to happen. This is going to progress way faster and just become a hu her husband at this point. And I feel like it's so blatantly obvious because he doesn't like the term master because of the whole slave system is past world. So he's going to be like, nah, can you, can you just not? And then she's going to figure out a different solution. That's what happened because like originally she wanted to be his like slave because like that's how they recognize people who are stronger than them. But he doesn't care about that whatsoever. He's like, yeah, no, please don't do that. Because my life would be rough if you come with me. But like, if you want to come, then of course she doesn't care. She just wants to be with someone who uh, she can respect, I guess. And that makes the most logical sense. It looks like we're focusing on the other hero who's being a total, complete egotistic. And of course, the guy seems to be really bad things. Oh my god, this guy. It looks like this hero is the bad hero out of all of them and looks like the king of the system as soldiers all realizing that as a byproduct it's funny how like he has literally the best things but he has like 999 stats but hasn't acquired a single skill <laughs> Bro, they're gonna go under Mary Cup Girl as an idea. Bro. Dude, she's so locked in at this point. You're screwed, bro. That now they're married. Well, take the. You know, she's supposed to be a whole like joke or like a whole like thing for play pretend, but you know, she's committed to the act. So, you know, it's like, eh, husband and wife now. Dude, she's so cute, bro. I just find it so funny. They really hard focus her as the wife in the opening. Like the whole opening is literally all of her. I've never seen an anime opening like that, but I love how ballsy it is. That's just awesome. Just literally nuts, you know, like, hey, yeah, any other girls you've seen the series? No, no, no. They're not the main girl. She's the main girl. And I love that fact. Mm, ma. What the hell? <laughs> so under normal marriage restrictions, they would be like, um, I find it so funny that, um, she literally would like a marriage really choice between their people. It's like, hey, you, you eat a, you hunt something together, you eat the bone. There you go. That's, you know, of course, our boy doesn't want to swallow bone. But, uh, yeah, it looks like, uh, they're gonna have to probably get some accessories for her. And of course, she's gonna probably treat that as the marriage thing. It looks like there's a big alert going on right now. So, a big hunt for need heroes needed. <laughs> <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑
Oh, it's the same group from earlier that he teleported out. Now they're under pressure right now from Psycho Bears. <laughs> She's just like, let's just ignore them, bro. And they're getting bodied. That could be bad. Well, those bears are quite toasted. Dude, they've literally been turned to charcoal. <laughs> And they're done. <laughs> Bro, they called her a monster and she's annoyed. You know, for a fact, you can just set her dominance right now. I feel like she's the kind of girl to do that. Bro. Damn. For her. There's another one. Oh, she's gonna be pissed after what he said. You know, he's gonna do his thing. Damn. Bro committed submission, dude. He knows he's gonna get off by her because how much she was mad. Dude, just the way he said, yeah, I know. I shouldn't mess with a uh, wife who's mad. <laughs> Subordinate or pet? <laughs> That's so funny. They're taking it as a pet, bro, and everyone's scared because how OP they are. They're strong enough to even defeat the hero's party, bro, and so you're just taking it as a, a pet. Yeah, those girls are all scared because how they know this thing's broken. And of course, he's just applying all of his skills onto it. And has a cute little bunny. Hahaha. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these girls are just all caught off guard because how chill they are about this whole situation. The power difference is so diverse, like div divided, like how the because they're like pretty strong, but they're like at the top. Interesting, they got their own little house now for base of operations. They wanted to teach him. I'm not gonna lie, our boys and particularly the, the most diverse in offense. But since the hero parts failed, they wanted him to be teach them because that way they could not lose against the dark ones. But it looks like the hero's locked himself in his room, so that way he doesn't have to do anything. So. Yeah, the king's getting out orders to take care of things since the hero can't do anything. I'm not gonna lie, you know what they could do? They could have the, his wife train them. <laughs> She's territorial. Bruh. Dude, that's gonna calm her down, you know, for a fact. <laughs> Dude, she's been on the aggro side for a minute, and now that she has to let them know the relationship, there's no way they're gonna get in his way. Bro. He's so happy now that she's on uh, chill now. Bro, she knows him too good now. Dude, she's radiating so much positive energy, bro. It's like coming out of her head. Looks like she's gonna train them now. It's funny how, like, a coin flip, like, giving one compliment can do so much. Or, like, letting them know the situation. I just know their group's gonna get really OP once they're done training with them. They're gonna probably go for hell, but, like... They're definitely going to be really strong afterward. <laughs> She's smart. She's pushing the tables forward by having them in their house. Good for her, dude. 
That's hilarious, bro. Looks like we're going to Demon King's castle now. See what's up with them, their whole situation. I find that so funny that Lola actually taking advantage of this whole situation just to get in bed with him. Okay, it looks like the demon king guys took interest in him. They want to find him and capture him to talk to him, it looks like. You know, for a fact, they're going to try to get to him and it's not going to do much. They're going to be able to not do anything, dude. Dude, this episode was so funny. The opening, I never expected an anime opening like that, but Lily, they went to show you guys, like, hey, they, she is the main waifu. What's going on here now? We're going to cut scene to like the, before the episode ends. Bro. <laughs> dude, she is going to get down to the point next episode. Oh my God, bro. Looks like the companions are gonna attack him too. Okay. Bro, dude, dude, next episode is gonna be an absolute banger, bro. So it looks like our boy has acquired the waifu or already like technically one of the main girls, but now she is officially the girl of the series. I love how we watch this anime. And as soon as we get into it, the anime opening shows like her doing a little dance, doing like a dino sama, like, like letting him know like, hey, I'm the waifu. No one else is here. Like any of the girls that came in pan in on the, the opening, she instantly pushes them to the side because she's like, yeah, I'm the main girl. There's no way over that. And I got I got to quickly say this. The opening they did is honestly hilarious. Like in the and manga, like it's really obvious that she's like the main girl. And like, there's no way you're, that's not going to happen. And I like how this anime really says they take that idea and they say, hey, we're going to stick with this and just make it the anime opening. And it's 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 that's funny as like when we had the villainous level 99, we had that anime opening, uh, not oh, anime opening, the ending. It like focused on the, the relationships of the different characters in the series. And that was really good. And then like it wasn't the main girl who was a part of the ending. It was the actual side character. And, and not the side character, but like her best friend, per se. And this time, instead of like, it's the ending and it's a friend, it's actually the opening and the main waifu. I, I love this opening. It's just hilarious. Like, you don't know, you're like questioning, is this actually the opening? And then you realize it is, you're like, hey, I like this idea. This is funny. But it's interesting though, that her boy finds him, of course, throws every spell she has at her, uh, he has at her. And of course, most of the stuff, she counters most times around. But when her boy throws down that gravity magic, you know for a fact it was GG because literally his stats are infinite, right? So he has infinite mana. He could also probably increase the threshold of the gravity to like 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times the gravity of their planet or something like that, which if you do more than probably 1,000, she's going to get squished like a bug. So yeah, and of course, he doesn't want to like take care of her or do anything like that. And of course, the system's like, okay, instead of like, you know, doing offing her why don't you just use subjugation magic like using your previous world he's like i don't want to bring that chick into this world because like it's interesting that he had that stuff in his past world and he comes to this world like he didn't like the whole like slave system thing and of course when it comes to this world they don't have it because everyone's like free and they do their own thing so he doesn't want to bring that into that world that like evil or that idea so he doesn't want to do that and of course he's fighting himself in the system because he just has no other option right but at that point she's kind of given up she's like been pinned under a rock for like a minute and every time she does anything she like gets her abilities canceled out canceled out canceled out and you just see it in her eyes she's like damn i'm screwed i can't do anything i like i give up and of course she gives up and stuff and of course she wants to be like okay since you beat me i'll become your subordinate and stuff like that or your uh, slave of and he's just like dude i don't want that like no you don't don't travel with me and she's like okay but i have to off myself now because of the fact that like like her, her whole race is like hey if we lose against someone we usually become their subordinate and stuff like that or their you know slave depending on the situation and of course since she what he wasn't allowed to take her she was gonna off because like they know like they're, they're basically weak at that point because they've submitted because they have no more of their honor and pride and of course he's just like yo hold up hold up don't do that you can come with me but you just chill and of course they have to go on a whole thing to make sure like nothing happens she tells the whole backstory and stuff like that i'm surprised that she was like that hero must be like weak if she, he can do anything you know what i'm saying i assume when we get to meet the hero again she's probably gonna be on his case or something like that i feel like that'd be funny but i love it how like our boy like has to work in a situation where like okay we have to go in the kingdom stuff like that what's our gonna situation be like okay and of course some guy in the market's like oh i guess they're a married couple and they're gonna use that as a facade and our boy says okay we'll use this as a facade and she's just like committed because she can't be like anything other but that 
and she's like whole pride thing with the race is like hey if there's somebody stronger than you and they want to become your husband and stuff like that that's like the best thing in the world and of course he's probably the pinnacle of power in that world so you know for a fact she is just beaming with energy and i find it so funny that the heroes probably fails to do stuff and of course other people are forced into taking care of these operations of course it looks like the group from last time we saved now has become like the hero's party temporarily until like otherwise and of course they need to be trained by him and of course he comes in steps and saves them and he kind of introduces her as like a sub companion and you know for a fact she is absolutely pissed like she's not showing it but when that bear pulled up he was screwed if he did anything and he's just submitted because of that which is funny and like when the girls are trying to answer him for some stuff he's still like she's still annoyed at them and of course as soon as like she's about to snap on them he like tells her like actually she's my wife yeah all you need to know is she's my wife i'm married and then she's like this beams with so much energy to the point it's so funny that she's like oh yeah yeah i'm his wife so don't mess with him also i don't mind training you guys and she's just taking into situation i was like oh you guys need housing space don't mind come in come in the house i can i can just use a different bed or share bed you know what i'm saying and i'm over here like god damn girl good damn. like she knows what she wants and of course she's doing a great job and she's pushing the fall forward because i feel like our guy would be like any normal enemy at mc where he doesn't want like be, he'll be dense he'd be too dense to do anything and make a play and of course her being like the outgoing girl she is and just doing a thing and she knows what she wants they're already married you know what i'm saying like she knows what she wants and she knows what she's gonna do again like, i absolutely respect her for it and our guy is not gonna be a complete dense guy who doesn't realize like the girl likes him the whole entire time you know what i'm saying and that's what i love about this series is it kind of beats all normal anime tropes with the guy being too dense and that's what i love but yeah what do you guys think about this episode let me know in the comments down below are you excited for you were you happy with this episode were you annoyed by this episode let me know what you guys think about this i know there's gonna be some people are out there gonna be like watch this opening and they're like wait so there's no like we can't decide who's main girl from this because you know there's gonna be like one guy out there who does that which would be kind of funny to see but um yeah our boy got married right the right second episode in so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction here today though make sure to smash the like button get subscribed to some of the feature and interactions and i'll see you guys for my one g man